Hello folks, this is Jay Austin from Woodworking Blues, coming to you from the living room. My tribe, which is my wife and four children, three boys and a girl, are all out of town saying goodbye, their final goodbyes, to our old house. I was there 21 years and left two workshops behind, and I sure had missed them. We couldn't build one right away when we got to this house. So I've had to go between the garage, the patio, and even the attic. I have workbenches in all three. So uh, while they're gone, I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, make a video or two and add some touches of this dollhouse that I didn't get to do because uh, I was pushed for time when I was making it. I started this project back in December, actually November of 17, 2017. And uh, I do have a video of impartially completed. I believe that was posted December 11 of 17. And I was showing all my mistakes. You can go back and look at those and man, there are plenty of them. And I'll, I'll cover some of them here, but it's not a big deal to me. I think it helps, uh, I hope it helps folks who first started out in woodworking and uh, not get too discouraged from making your mistakes because you will, but uh, and you'll overcome them. So uh, I hope I can encourage people to keep keyboard working despite the mistakes you'll make. So the dimensions on this dollhouse are, uh, it's four feet, two inches wide, and he's, uh, two feet, two inches deep. These are all approximate measurements. I wasn't dead on on anything. And uh, the rooms, as you'll see the dividers there, they are uh, approximately 12 inches uh, wide and 14 inches high. There's a total of eight rooms if you count this guy there. You count the, the peak there. Um, this, M, uh, this is the first time I ever worked with MDF. And uh, I want you to know, guys, I'm glad I read up on it because this stuff is kind of difficult. Not my favorite material. Don't know if I'll be working with it anytime soon again. Um, it creates a very fine dust when you cut it, and I mean a lot of it. And I have read that it's uh, hazardous. It's uh, got some chemicals in it that can be hazardous. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but I, I didn't want to take any chances, so I always or my, my personal protection equipment, my face mask and my, or in, uh, my eyes, my covers. Had a, the garage very well ventilated every time I did some cuts and I swept that stuff up right away. You'll see that video uh, towards the end of it, all the dust I swept up from that thing. Also, MDF is very, very heavy. I wanted to make this sturdy, but man, I'll tell you what, uh, it is sturdy, but it's also heavy. I, I read where uh, MDF, uh, the four by eight sheets are uh, 96 pounds. And uh, the sheets I bought were actually a little bit larger, just a little bit, because they almost didn't fit in the back, back of my Sequoia. I can usually get a four by eight sheet of plywood or any other four, eight, uh, four by eight sheet back there. But uh, he was a tight fit. I had to kind of angle it in and then squeeze him in at that. So uh, that was my experience with MDF. Be sure to wear your protection, personal protection equipment have good uh, dust system removal or dust removal system. Uh, and if you don't have that, at least have some really good ventilation and sweep that stuff up as quick as you can. And by all means, don't let your children near that stuff. Just uh, going by what I'm reading, guys. Um, I got way behind on this thing. One of the takeaways I will uh, I can give you is if you do a project like this, again, this is my first dollhouse for my beautiful and sweet four and a half year old daughter. Um, just pick a design and stick to it. I, uh, I got way behind because I just kept changing ideas and, and plans and I, uh, I just, it put me way behind. So, uh, stick a, get a design and stick to it and, uh, have a plan to how much work you're going to do because I finished this guy on Christmas Eve slash Christmas morning, 3 a.m. And man, it was a push. But uh, it was well worth it. It was a Christmas morning surprise for my little sweet daughter. And it went over you know, with a bang. So no, no complaints there. But uh, again, guys, this is just some of the 
the things I, I take away from this project. As you see, because I was behind, there's no windows and there's no stairs whatsoever. I just didn't have the time. I, uh, I had the tools, but I didn't have the time. Um, I primed him. Be sure and prime it, folks, because this, this MDF sucks up the primer and the paint. If you don't prime it, you'll be, you'll be putting a lot of coats of paint on this thing. So, uh, that was another thing I learned. I, uh, I also, uh, just wanted to mention that, uh, when preparing this thing, it was, uh, I like to say I wanted it, I wanted uh, it sturdy and steady, but man, I had a time and a half getting it up those stairs. I want you to know. So keep that in mind when you go to build something, folks, the dimensions, the weight, the size, the bulkiness of it, that all plays, goes into a, plays a factor into that and where you're going to put it. I drug him down here because I wanted to do some things to him that I didn't do that I wanted to originally. Um, this is some of the furniture I also, I also made. I had to have something for it. A little bed, rudimentary to say the least. That's a little 12 inch. I don't think it's a, a Barbie doll, but it's the same size, about 11 inch. They're all about 11 inches. I put the water there to just kind of give you an idea of the dimensions. Uh, a little chair, I'm missing one chair. He's missing an action. The 21 month old likes to get into this thing and destroy it. And as you can see, my daughter has adorned it with, uh, numerous stickers uh and then she decides to peel them off and put something else on there so there's a lot of things i didn't get to do i wanted to do and one of them i bought some stencils and uh i wanted to stencil this into one of the rooms the other part of it says uh this says believe little fairy on it and uh the other one will say uh believe in uh fairy tales I wanted to stencil those in the a couple of the rooms up front, just didn't have the time. So uh, I'll get to do that now that uh, the tribe is out of town, and uh, I'll get I'll have the time to do that and have, give her a little surprise when she gets back. So hopefully, it'll be in one of these rooms, uh, both of these rooms actually. So anyway, again, uh, I was in such a hurry, and I couldn't decide on a on a design. And when I changed in the middle of it, I, you see I had to make uh, some corrections here because I made it, make it wide enough. I didn't allow enough, for enough space there to get that wall all the way out for anything to hang on to it, so, uh, or attach it to, to it. So uh, you see this line here, how bad that one is, that is. Out of a line and then some. That was, some of my, me, just, I just can't straight, cut a straight line to save my life. But some of it was due to being in a hurry and just push, and that was all my fault. So uh, I did get it done. It was it was ready for Christmas morning, and it it worked. It, it got the desired results. So hopefully she'll have many many years of this uh, playing with this. She she plays with it almost daily now, and uh, along with the 21 month old. And uh, I hope she uh, keeps it and has a, a really good family heirloom to pass on. So you can see some of the mistakes. And like I say, the video I posted, the first one I posted, you'll see a lot of them. I don't mind pointing them out, folks. I think it helps folks. So uh, this is it. A completed project about two months after the fact. But uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way, folks. I hope you uh, appreciate this. And I do want to say one more thing, folks. And no, I'm not preaching. I'm just saying this because I mean it. Uh, I'm just very grateful and thankful that I'm able to do these things and uh, have the money and the uh, tools to do this. It's a blessing for me to be able to do this for my tribe, my, my three boys and my daughter and my wife. And uh, because of the inexpensive tools and materials out there, I can do the, these things. Uh, if it wasn't for some of these inexpensive tools and materials, I they projects like this would be out of my reach. So I'm very grateful that uh, I can do this. This is why I kind of preach a little bit. I said I wasn't going to preach, but I guess I am. Uh, I, I do I do uh, extol the, the virtues or the values of inexpensive, non-name brand tools. Uh, I'm just getting point where, to a point where I can buy some name brand tools, but I'll tell you what, those inexpensive tools will always have a place with me and in my toolbox and in my workshop. So uh, just wanted to mention that. 
And again, guys, if you find yourself making some major mistakes and really, really messing up, don't get discouraged. This thing was a mess um, about halfway through, and I was really worried about it. But, you know, you got to just kind of press on and fix what you can and move on. My daughter doesn't, she doesn't give really care one way or another if it's just out of a little bit of alignment there. She has a blast with this thing, and it just brings me a lot of joy to see her do it. So, all right, I'll stop rambling on. This is uh, one of my finished videos, one of my finished uh, projects that I, I never got around to showing. So glad I could do it. I hope you like it. It's a little long. I hope you appreciate you sticking with me if you did. So like, comment, subscribe if you, you want to. But either way, Jay from Woodworking Blues, say it with me. Keep on woodworking.